Hi my friends from One Age Speakers, how are you getting on? I hope you're doing well and now you're ready to pay all of your attention to me because I'm going to reveal insider information about a very effective English fluency class. If you have any experience with taking English classes and you're trying to employ your spoken English, you must have realized that by rewriting English sentences in your copybook won't make you fluent. And it's totally correct because in order to improve your spoken English, you simply need to practice your vocal cords and speak. So the sad conclusion you can draw is that in traditional English classes, students are basically beating around the bush. But now, as promised, I'm going to reveal the secret information about a super effective English class that will increase your English fluency super fast. I've been attending that class for more than two years now, and I'm really excited about the efficiency of fluency improving methods provided in it. Okay, I won't keep you waiting for any longer. The name of the English class that I'm attending is My Work. Is your excitement leaving you like air leaves a punctured balloon? How can Robbie be so mean and lure me into watching this video because I'm hoping to find a good English class that will finally teach me how to speak? Is that what you're thinking? Alright, I'll be brutally honest with you. I had no intention of fooling you into watching this video under a false pretense. And I can tell you with all honesty that my work has indeed been the best English class ever. Within the last two years, I've picked up more conversational English than in the previous years spent in Ireland together, during which I had also attended advanced English classes. You see, the difference is that at work, I don't have to do my assignments in writing and bring them in the next day. At work, I don't have to listen to my boss giving me sample English sentences and write them down in my copybook. At work, I don't have to be in this artificially created atmosphere resembling school days when your mind was constantly drifting away to other things and you would find yourself forcing to focus on what's being discussed at the moment rather than immersing yourself fully in an English-speaking environment. Now, listen to what does happen in my English class, aka my working place. My work colleague William provides the best spoken English practice ever. Over the years, we've discussed every topic imaginable, and since both of us share similar opinions, we don't run out of topics to discuss. News we hear on the radio and events in each other's lives spark new conversations on a daily basis, and I doubt any traditional English class would provide you with that much spoken English practice. Alright, you're probably thinking that all I'm doing at work is yapping all day long, and that soon I'll probably get fired. Not at all. That's what break times are meant for, and besides, you can have brief conversations while you're engaged in manual handling and similar activities with someone, and it provides me with enough time to discuss the things that I want. Also, there's constant communication going on between me, William, and others working with us, and of course, that makes up the biggest part of the day. I think I don't even have to convince you about the enormous effect constant English speech has on one's fluency. English simply replaces your native language in your head. You start thinking in English, and that's when real fluency begins. So much for spoken English practice. We are about aspects of English improving like increasing vocabulary and working on grammar. Does it get covered in my work as well? I bet you it does, and the process is also more effective than if you were sitting in an English class writing new vocabulary words in your copybook and listening to the teacher in front of the class explain yet another English grammar rule. At my work, I experience full English immersion, and new vocabulary is being added to my active vocabulary every day. What's more important, though, is that it happens contextually, and every new word that I hear or read is being seen as part of a speech or text. Of course, I do have to make some effort to memorize new words, learn how to use them in conversations, but it's much easier in the working environment, because you're fully engaged and you need all that new vocabulary for your work. Just think about it. If I sit in a traditional English class and the teacher gives me new vocabulary about some topic I don't take a particular interest in, or I don't see its immediate relevance for me personally, I would not absorb that vocabulary anywhere near as effectively as I would in a real English environment. At work, I'm fully present in a real-life English environment, and even if I may not be personally interested in something, the very nature of work demands all of my attention, which facilitates acquisition of new stuff. Let's give you a very simple example. When I started in the company I work, 
I heard about clearing order backlog when we replenish stock levels. It took me just a few times to hear the collocation to clear backlog to figure out what it means because I was facing an actual situation where there were many customers still waiting on certain products and I had to make sure that all those orders are completed and backlog is cleared. So as you can understand, such contextual and real situation English improving is much more effective than writing stuff in your copybook that has little real life significance for you. My wife, for example, has improved her English big time thanks to her current job. She took some English classes previously and also studied English grammar at home, but it provided little help for her. Now, after a few years spent in an English-speaking environment, she's come along brilliantly and it's all thanks to her speech practice with others at work and picking up English naturally. To wrap today's video episode up, I'll tell you one thing. If you have a choice between taking English classes and engaging yourself more in your working environment, go for the second option. I've known a few foreigners who have had all opportunities to improve their English at work, yet they would keep saying things like, I want to improve my English. I think I'll join an English class in the near future. There's only one thing I tell such folks. Why don't you take advantage of a free English class right here in your working place? Be more enthusiastic about your work environment and you'll definitely see improvement to your spoken English. By the way, do you know what I noticed when I just started in my position as a dispatch clerk? The previous guy in my position had made plenty of notes in his native language on the procedure descriptions. So he'd rather use his language to operate in an English-speaking environment than learn new vocabulary and improve his English. I think it's a big disservice to yourself if you're given a great opportunity to improve your English, but you just blow it away because you're too lazy to learn. Alright, I understand that not everyone is as passionate about improving English as me. Anyway, once you happen to watch this video, I take it you're interested, right? So, if you work in an English-speaking environment, use all opportunities you can to practice your spoken English and add more to your general English knowledge too. Sometimes you may run the risk of being perceived as the most annoying member of staff, but by and large, people are friendly and like being spoken to. Okay, it's about time I finish today. Thanks for watching this episode and see you around soon!